Dang it, I really need to charge my phone before this five-hour flight. I remember seeing a charging station on the way here. I think I'll just go there and charge up really quick. You gotta be kidding me. Is he really gonna do this after all of the training we've been doing? Arman, are you serious? Have you not learned anything by now? Uh, first of all, why are you following me? To make sure you don't do anything silly. Don't you know that plugging your phone into a public charger could let hackers steal your data in seconds? Uh, yeah, totally. That's why I let you follow me here, duh. Now what exactly are you talking about? Well my boy, the term I'm referring to is, juice jacking. But let me guess, I bet you've never heard of this before. It sounds like we'll be stealing a bunch of smoothies from the juice shop over there. Haha, <laughs> not quite, but nice try. Juice jacking occurs when a hacker exploits a public USB charging station to secretly transfer data, allowing them to install malware on your device or steal your personal information. As soon as you plug in, the malware activates, using the data transfer function to infiltrate your phone. From there, it can install additional malicious software, extract sensitive data, or both. So how exactly do they steal data? And what would the malware do to my phone? Those are both great questions. Hackers can deploy keyloggers, spyware, and remote access trojans, all capable of capturing usernames, passwords, and even banking details, putting your personal and financial security at risk. Did you ever hear about that LA district office warning from a few years ago? Dude, you literally just told me about juice jacking. And besides, I'm your CMO, why would I be paying attention to the LA district office warnings from a few years ago? Touché. My bad, Mr. CMO. So anyway, back in 2019, the district office issued a public warning for travelers at LAX and guests at nearby hotels. They had discovered criminals planting infected USBs at charging stations, which installed malware on users' mobile devices. This malware compromised usernames and passwords for financial institutions. So as a result, the district office strongly advised people to avoid using these charging stations altogether. <laughs> Let's teach this boy a lesson. Oh, Armand. Wake up, Mr. Sleepyhead. Huh? What? Oh, hey there, Junior. Why don't we just go back to our gate and talk about this some more over there? Uh, I mean, I guess if you say so. Hmm, since when did I download this? And why the heck is my battery even lower than before? Why are you laughing? <laughs> is your phone loading slower than usual too? And do your other apps keep crashing? Um, maybe? Something must have happened when you dozed off. I decided to charge your phone at the charging station to see if juice jacking was real. Why would you do that on purpose? I have my stock and bank stuff on my phone. Dude, you broke my heart when you stopped listening to what I had to say. Ha ha ha, just kidding. I just wanted to teach you a lesson. But seriously, you should never leave your phone unattended and never use public chargers to charge your phone. If you don't have your own, just borrow mine next time. Fine, fine, but what if I have no choice, and what else can I do to protect myself? Now you're asking the right questions. First, if at all possible, just avoid those public charging stations. But, if you absolutely have to plug in, make sure to deny all requests to transfer data and always opt for two-factor authentication or biometric login options when possible. Another option is to buy USB data blockers. These are sold as a precautionary measure for malicious cables. Okay, but what if it's too late and I feel like my device has been compromised? In that case, immediately disconnect your device from the charger, turn off your internet, then uninstall any apps you didn't authorize. For iPhones, strict security restrictions prevent direct malware scans. However, third-party apps can help monitor network activity for suspicious behavior, though they don't actively scan for malware. On Android, you can rely on Google Play Protect, the built-in malware scanner, to detect potential threats. 
Once that's done, update your device if an update is available, as this can patch security vulnerabilities. And finally, change your phone's password and update the passwords for any apps you use to ensure your accounts remain secure. Dude, this seems like a lot of work to change all the passwords and everything. Then don't be careless and stop using public charging stations, Mr. CMO. Yes, sir, Mr. Junior, sir. Whatever you say. That's what I thought. Now sit your booty down, Mr. Poopy Pants, we're gonna board the plane soon.